Hello, in this FreeJS video, we are going to look at implementing Anaglyphic 3D. Anaglyphic 3D, most likely you know what it is. If you don't know what it is, it's a way of doing 3D. 3D as in what you would go to a cinema, put some glasses on and have objects look more realistic in terms of depth and illusion. So Anaglyphic is one of the many forms of 3D. There are other 3D technologies as well. This is one of the more primitive technologies, but it's easy to do without any extra hardware for your screen. You just do it purely in software and you just have glasses that can render or that can filter these two images out. So I'm pretty sure you've seen these sort of images before, these sort of video before. It's quite big in the early 2000s. I remember you could go and see the Spy Kids movie. I think it's called Spy Kids 3000 or Spy Kids 3D. And you would get a poster and some anaglyphic 3D glasses. Very inexpensive. So to implement this, actually before we do that, I'd just like to mention that we've added a bunch of objects already. Nothing that we haven't already covered. It's just so the actual scene was a bit more fledged out. So if I refresh, we have our head, but if we rotate around, got a cube there, got a cube there, and got a skull there. To give you a sense of how far these objects are, let me zoom out and rotate so we got more of a bird's eye view. As you can see, the head here is tiny compared to the skull, hence why it's very far, plus, the score is immensely far away. So let me zoom back in. As you can see, the head is tiny. So to implement 3D, first thing you need to do is add the anaglyphic 3D JavaScript file. To do that, let's go to your FreeJS master file. As usual, make sure you're using the same version as you used for the FreeJS files. Don't mix and match. Go to examples, scroll down to the JS folder, and in there you want to go to effects, anaglyph effect, and you just want to copy that. As usual, if you want to check out all the other different effects and just general functionality within FreeJS, go to the freejs.org website. There's documentation and examples with example code and that will serve you well. So just copy that, go to your project directory. So I'm just going to right click show in finder, just paste it into here. And now before we actually start coding our world to be 3D, we just need to include it. So I'm just going to duplicate one of these lines, change this to anaglyph effect. And now what we need to do is create an effect for our anaglyph. So anywhere after this window, if we just do var effect equals new free dot Anna glyph effect. And in here you specify the renderer, which is what we created right there. Renderer and no, that's not what we want. And now we do effect dot set size and for this we just do window dot inner width comma window dot inner height it's essentially the same as what we've done right here. So it is that simple. Once you have done that, if you scroll down where we have this render method, instead of doing render.render scene camera, what you want to do is effect.render. So if we save that, go back to our web browser, reload this page. As you can see, we now have an anaglyphic effect. If you had these sort of red and cyan, red and green or red and blue glasses, you would actually be able to see 3D. So that's it for creating a game with anaglyphic 3D, very simple stuff, all software based, apart from the actual glasses, you don't need anything. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on our education platform, sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash questions .php. And we will see you in the next video.